Good morning, Jane Phillips. It's Father Richard with the Weekly Word. The Weekly Word. So good to be with you. Uh, I'm out here on the front porch in Village Way in Southeast Nashville at our home, and uh, it's one of those days that can't make up it can't make up its mind. Some some moments it's windy, some calm, some sunny. Rained earlier, uh, but that's sort of the way life is, right? And, uh, sometimes it can't make up its mind either. I want to let you know that uh, Reverend Chris O'Rear spoke, uh, who is the director of the Counseling Center at Bellmead United Methodist Church, and also uh, the executive director of the organization that uh, sponsors St. Philip's New Counseling Center spoke last night at our recording on Wednesday night. It was, uh, it was a good word. He's a good man, very wise and thoughtful, and he'll be speaking at Drive-In Worship this Sunday. So if you'd like to come out and hear Chris speak live, uh, it'd be well, well worth your time. It will also be on the recording at 930 on Sunday morning. Uh, I'm well aware that, uh, and as you are, that we have a national election coming up, and um, there's a lot of talk everywhere about this, a lot of opinions, strong, on both sides. <clears throat> All I'll ask is that you vote your conscience, pray before you go, maybe you've already voted, I don't know, but uh, it's, it's, it's hard to know what to do sometimes, and um, I... It's hard to make sense of a lot of what's going on, and I, and I know there are so many divisions in our country, uh, but we have been divided before, and I, I really take comfort in that. You know, the revolutionary, our, our country was born out of a revolution, uh, and, um, you know, we're kind of used to disagreeing with each other. We had, a, we had a national civil war 150 years ago that basically tore this country in two. We're still recovering from that in some ways, but we made it through, and we made it through um, we made it through the, uh, the Great Depression, we made it through a pandemic similar to this one we're experiencing now, a hundred years ago. We made it through the Second World War and all the conflicts in between. We made it through the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, not to say all those things are settled and done, but, but we survived. And, we, and we, we had the grit and determination and the resilience as the people of this, uh, of this beloved country. Uh, to make it through so I would I would just say take heart in all that we'll make it through whatever it is uh, whatever the outcome is on Tuesday we'll make it through but uh, I think it's really important to be thoughtful and to be people of prayer at this time so um, that also will bring you comfort and uh, and calm your anxious anxious heart if it is anxious uh, the morning prayers uh, in the Book of Common Prayer have some beautiful they're called suffrages Basically, their their prayers of petition. So I'm going to offer those to you as a word uh, as we uh, come into this weekend to come and the events of next week. And here are the prayers, <clears throat> uh, page 97 in the Book of Common Prayer. If you have one, show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon all earth, your saving health among the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And I'll finish with a collect for peace from also from the morning prayer service. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I wish you peace, blessing, and every grace. Amen. <clears throat>